and obviously Ian Stevens, Shrewsbury Town old boy, will do his best to uh, thwart that ambition. That's going to be Carlisle to kick off then, and Mr Dowd looks at his watch, looks at uh, his two lines of people. And got a good crowd here today, and signals for the game to get underway. And straight away, the number 10, Paul McGregor, feeds it out, and Gary Hanlon shows his intent, and... We're under 20 seconds into the game and we've got the first one in the River, tr river 7. And Brian Gale once again quickly into the action. And Devon White missed that one. First time in ages. I've seen Devon miss something in the air being pulled back there by Ian Stevens. Play on, says the referee, a bit contentious there though, he was certainly being pulled back and uh, Shrewsbury are having to backtrack now. And Devon White wasn't very happy about that, he sh had his shirt pulled right out of his shorts. That was Dave Brightwell that uh, did the business. And a good attack here, building up by, Shrews uh, by Carlisle. Oh dear, terrible finishing. Good opening move by Carlisle, but... Uh, Came from that very contentious incident. And it's uh, Gareth Hamlin moving across on the left, but uh, nicely tied it up by Billy Barr. But one back by Gareth Hamlin. Austin Barkley now, jinking left and right. Tucked into the corner, though. You can find it hard to get out of that, but it does. Oh, and it's off the top of the bar. That's Kevin Seabury, came into a good goal-scoring position there, and Kevin Seabury uh, had a good go there then. I'm joined by Lenny. Yeah, I think he did very well. I thought Kev's definitely after me here today. Last week he nearly got it, but fair dues to him. He could have had a good goal there. Kevin Joblin. Devon White. Austin Barkley can turn and does. Cuts across field. Lee Steele. Gets his tackling this time on Prokus. Oh... Kevin Jobley, no tidying up nice. Peter Wilding says, calm it all down. Building patiently from the back, Shrewsbury, and that's the way to win games. And the crowd getting behind the town. It's good play by Shrewsbury, but no reward at the moment. Austin Barkley. Should have been a foul. Goes into the air. He's beaten three. Oh, he didn't manage to get that one. Oh, and the goalkeeper pulls off a stunning save there, but that was brilliant play by Austin Barkley, who's still on the ball and gets the foul. No, says the referee. Well, the referee's obviously not got blue eyes. And you can, you can certainly say that Stuart Whitehead is fortunate to still be taking the part in this game. Oh, and that's off the upright. That's no consolation, no to Lee Steele, who's limping, but uh, that was a tremendous strike. He's obviously won straight out of the top dresser from Zola and Beckham. Lee Steele, got his tail up, Lee, Lee Steele. Thwarted only by an outstretched boot. Kevin Joblin, Lee Steele can turn and run. Oh, Lee Steele at his prime and best, and a stunning save from the goalkeeper. Yeah, on his left foot as well, I mean, this man can shoot with both feet. He's going to get his goal. Come on, man, you can do it. Get in there. With Paul Evans over the ball. Lots more movement, higher ball this time. And that's Mike Wynn Stanley, and the ball's still live in there. Oh, yeah. dear, Peter Wilding was lining come. up. Gareth Hamner. Wouldn't come down fast enough. And that was Gary, uh, Ian Stevens who oh, did yeah. very well, but Gareth Hamner got that one back. Wynn Stanley, though, no one there. And it enables Carlisle to break it forward in numbers. And they've allowed the number three to run straight at us. And he's overstepped him. Oh, tremendous save by Paul Edwards. Tremendous save. And it's bounced the right way for Shrewsbury. Yeah, it was like a pinball machine in there. Paul Evans. But yeah, he was being held off. Not unfairly, but he was being held off. And uh, that's drawn two of our players into a position to enable the number 11, Jeff Thorpe, to run forward. And they've got four men over and only one in the way. And Paul Edwards was live to that. When Stanley took the, the sting out of it, but two men went forward. Devon White. And there was a little bit of a clash there and uh, the number five for Carlisle seems to have taken the brunt of it. But once again, it's Stevens away on his left-hand side. The Shrewsbury getting back in numbers, but up come Carlisle. 
Oh, no effort, no sting in it, but it was a good move. That was a very good move. Typical Stevens again, wasn't it? If there's nobody there, just go on your own. Yep. And Kevin Joblin, though, can launch a long one from here. Big men up in the box. Oh, and Devon White, mate. Oh! Lee still. Oh! Blocked out. Blocked out by the defender. The number four did well. Stuart Whitehead. It's Kevin Seabury yet again with another chance. This time he actually hit the target and it was blocked on the line. Good defending by Carlisle. Oh, we allowed the man to have space there. But uh, Paul Edwards down quickly, got his body behind the ball. It's the first thing they've done in this half. We've got more chance of Virgin Trains being on time. <laughs> Kerrigan. Yeah, Jelka. Ooh! And the number four took him late. Stuart Whitehead. Took him well late there. But he ain't going to send him off. It's only a booking event. Right. Oh, it's off. He's he is off. Books. He's already had a booking. He's away. Surprising, really. I mean, the number six, the things he's been doing all the way through this game, and he gets sent off. Can't believe it. But. Just another one to add to the list of strange refereeing decisions. Paul Evans in, but they'll just. They'll just tidy this up. Oh, once again, over the ball. Five minutes to go. Yeah, they certainly have packed their defence, look. You can see it, 4-4-1. Four, four, oh, that was a bit uh, snatched. Oh, no. No. Would you believe something against the run of play? Peter Wilding knocked the ball straight up in the air. Brian Gale compounded it, put it, tried to get it back to Eddie Edwards, and Stevens latched onto it. If ever there was a game where it's against the run of play, then it's got to be that. That's going to be criminal, and will come back to haunt us. Okay, yeah, it's Ian Stevens again. Well, they'll have nine men behind the ball now. Will Knighton's boys, Paul Evans. Oh, taken out there. No, says the referee. But that was a naughty one from behind again. Kevin Seabury still on this ball. Well, Austin Barkley taken out. No way, says the referee. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. And the number eight is now fuming. That was clearly a penalty. The linesman gave it. The referee wasn't in a good position, but and they're still fighting. And that's ridiculous, Carlisle have lost their heads completely. There was never a dive, he took him out. The linesman gave the penalty. Well, they're losing their heads to Carlisle, they were throwing punches around, they were lucky there to get a yellow card. There was at least one bloke threw a punch in there and got away with it. Referee and the linesman weren't very well positioned to deal with that incident, I'm afraid. And it's all down to Paul Evans now to uh, restore the, the balance. Paul Evans then, lines this one up, referee signals, Paul Evans goes up, and if ever a team's going to lose this game and say it's self-destructed, it's got to be Shrewsbury Town. Fourth official signalling for two minutes, but uh, there'll be some happy teddy bears going back to Carlisle tonight. God knows how. Well, what do you make of that then? Well, what can you make of it? I mean, the pressure's so, so much on Ev then. He normally soaks up the pressure, no problem, but the pressure was so disgusting. You know. It's forward then, Brian Gale. Should have been 2 1, but we'll settle for the 1 1. Oh my life. That was a cracking goal. Well done. Good persistence. Well, no more than Shrewsbury deserved. We should have won this one.